Steve Shetler Media presents Tuesday Night Tuna, TNT. Coming to you from Smoky Row in Oskaloosa, Iowa. On Steve Shetler Media, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Every Tuesday at 7 p.m. April 16th through August 13th. Hosted by Safe Grafke. Talking to local and area drivers. Get tuned up for the racing week ahead with Tuesday Night Tune Up TNT. Starting April 16th, live from Smoky Row in Oskaloosa. Right here on Steve Shetler Media. Everybody, this is Pastor Jackie from Be the Light Ministry, and excited to be able to hop on here on Steve Shetler Media with you tonight and share the Word of God and share a little bit of God's love with everyone. Uh, tonight, I want to go to First uh, John, and I want to go to First John chapter four, and the title of this passage in my Bible that I'm reading from tonight in the NIV is love comes from God. And that's what I really want to talk about tonight. You see, John reminds us, the Christians, that the power of Christ who lives in us is greater than anything in this world. And so because God loves us so much, we too have that same power to love others in the same way. You see, when we give our lives to Jesus, when we uh, believe that Jesus is our Lord and Savior, that he went to the cross, that he was crucified, and then on the third day he was alive as he was risen and resurrected. And because of that, his spirit, the Holy Spirit, lives inside of us, all of us who are believers. And so that Holy Spirit is inside of us. And the Holy Spirit living inside of us is far stronger than anything in this world. And so I want to look at this encouragement that John gives us. Um, and I hope that it will empower us a little bit tonight. I hope that it will empower all of us as believers to not live our lives in fear, but rather let's live our lives in a way that shows that we trust God. We trust God in all circumstances and we obey his commands because by trusting and obeying God, we can overcome powers of darkness in this world and we can walk boldly in our faith in this life. So let's just dig into the scripture here. Now, this is a letter that John wrote to the churches of the day. And um, he is writing to tell them about God's love and about God's power. So I'm going to read for us today from 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 to 21. So grab your Bibles. And 1 John is towards the back of your Bible. And so uh, it come, 1 John comes right before 2 John. Um, and then after 2 John, we have Jude and then Revelation. So it is towards way towards the back of the Bible. So 1 John 4, okay, 1 John chapter 4, and I'm going to start reading at verse 7. Dear friends, we should love each other because love comes from God. Everyone who loves has become God's child and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. This is how God showed his love to us. He sent his one and only son into the world so that we could have life through him. This is what real love is. It is not our love for God. It is God's love for us in sending his son to be the way to take away our sins. 
Dear friends, if God loved us that much, we also should love each other. No one has ever seen God, but if we love each other, God lives in us and his love is made perfect in us. We know that we live in God and he lives in us because he gave us his spirit. We have seen and can testify that the father sent his son to be the savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the son of God has God living inside and that person lives in God. And so we know the love that God has for us and we trust that love. God is love. Those who live in love live in God and God lives in them. This is how love is made perfect in us. That we can be without fear on the day God judges us. Because in this world, we are like him. Where God's love is, there is no fear. Because God's perfect love drives out fear. It is punishment that makes a person fear. So love is not made perfect in the person who fears. We love because God first loved. If people say, I love God, but hate their brothers or sisters, they are liars. Those who do not love their brothers and sisters whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have never seen. And God gave us this command. Those who love God must also love their brothers and sisters. And so what we learn here in this passage today is just how much God loves us and what that means for us. God loved first, right? God loved first. And we then, um, before we were ever born, God loves us us. And so then we are, we love him when we become followers of Jesus. So without God, there is no love because he loved first. And I love how the, I love how John says it here. God is love. God is the source of love. And he's also the definition of love. God is love. And his love is not some, oh, some abstract concept or some fairy tale. God's love is real. It is present. It is passionate. It is active in our lives. See, God takes and is taking an active role in our lives every day. He's part of our redemption. And he's, God is not a bystander in your life. He doesn't just sit back and, and leave us alone and hope that we're going to figure things out. No, God is active in our lives. He is active and he is love. So if we go all the way back to the beginning of the Bible, we see God taking the initiative with his people. And we see him taking that active role, right? So like Noah and the ark, who initiates there? It was God. Abraham and his covenant, who, initi who initiates that? Once again, God. And so we see this pattern in the Old Testament of God initiating and taking this active role in the lives of his people, but it doesn't end there. As we keep flipping through the pages of our Bibles, God's active role continues. And God's active role continues and includes the sacrifice of his son, his one and only son, Jesus, on the cross. God's love was made known to us when Jesus paid the debt for our sins. You see, his death leads to our forgiveness. But, but what makes that love so amazing, and, and sometimes it's hard for us to understand, is that this love, it's free. 
and it's available to us at all times. It is a gift. It is love by the grace of God. See, God didn't have to send Jesus for the forgiveness of our sins. He didn't have to do it. But he loves us so much that he willingly sent his one and only son to die for us. See, God loves us first. And even when we feel unlovable, and even, even friends, if we aren't doing a very good job of loving him back, he still loves us first. Isn't that amazing? So love is the beginning point in our story of salvation. And that love begins with God. And thankfully, God's love doesn't rely on our perfection, our good deeds. Because if it did, I might never have been saved. God loves and he also carries and calls us to his love. And that love is available everywhere we go. Let's, I want to read verse 21 again. And so verse 21, I think this is so important for us as believers. Verse 21, and God gave us this command. Those who love God must also love their brothers and sisters. You see, as people of God, we are made in God's image. And we we need to show the love of God by loving others. Why? Because he loves us. And so when we accept his love, it changes us. It changes our hearts. It transforms us because God's love, it's not passive. It's alive and it's active and it's in us and it's working through us. And so John in our scripture today reminds us that God's love moves us to love each other, to care for each other, to love our brothers and sisters. And hopefully this gives us confidence and transforms our hearts to be more like Jesus. So God made love real when he sent Jesus to live among us and to die for us. And God continues to show us love through Jesus, through the Holy Spirit that is among us. And so friends, today I just wanted to talk about God's love, God's love, and God's command to us that if we hate someone, then we can't love God. Because the only way we can love God is by loving others. And so if we have bitterness and hatred and anger, any of that stuff in our hearts, we have to give, we have to get rid of it. We have to give it away. And Jesus says he will carry our burdens. And and we have to let God be the one that judges. And we, for our own sakes, need to choose love and forgiveness over hatred or anger or bitterness. Because love comes from God. God is love. And if we love God, we can't have any hatred in our hearts for someone else. We have to love brothers and sisters to be able to love God. So I hope this message um, hits a chord with you tonight. Hope it makes you think. I hope you'll go back and read the scripture. First John chapter four, uh, we read verses seven to 21. So go back and, and read it again and think about how that can have an impact in your life. And friends, just know that God loves you, that you are loved. And you, no matter what you've done in your past, no, what, no matter what skeletons you have in your closet or what's hanging over your head, God loves you. And when you come to Jesus, you are forgiven. Your heart is changed. Your life is transformed. All because of God's love for us.
Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, uh, we bring this message to you tonight. Lord, it is our prayer that this message reaches those that need to hear it, that this message reaches anyone who is feeling angry or bitter or hatred tonight. May they come to know the love, your love that's available to them. May they come to realize how beautiful your forgiveness is. Uh, Lord, we just hope that this message goes far and wide and is able to touch hearts and that those hearts will turn to Jesus to be changed, to be transformed, to be made new in him. We lift this all up in his name tonight. Amen. Amen. So I hope you uh, have a great night and I hope the rest of the week is a good one for you. Uh, just a reminder at Be The Light, we have services at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. every Sunday morning. We hope to see you there. Bye-bye.